Here's another air quality monitor. This is the Air Visual Pro. Um, I've actually heard of IQ Air before I knew about this specific device because they have a pretty popular phone application for uh, outdoor air quality. And um, my understanding is relatively popular in China. You look around the back of the box, it has an example uh, outdoor air forecast for uh, Beijing. So it um, has a couple different features, air quality, weather forecasts. It'll do um, indoor CO2 levels and uh, indoor versus outdoor comparison, as well as an air quality coach, which will tell you to do things like close your windows, run the air purifier, wear a mask outside, um, all the air is bad, you know, look out, that kind of thing. So it measures um, PM 2.5 it does co2 it has a battery um, it'll do temperature and humidity so uh, the only thing we're missing here would be um, tboc and yeah let's take take a look here at this little deal instructions always important device um, this has already been out of the box once not by me though so this is my first time experiencing it um, that's cool look at that it's right right there through the middle so it um, seems like there's air intakes uh, associated with that so it's got a little screen it's pretty lightweight and there is a um, USB micro USB power supply so let's find those instructions and get this thing plugged in all right instructions say um, congratulations it's QR code to scan and install the app whichever version um, you're about to take the first step of controlling the air you breathe like control maybe being aware of the air you breathe uh, so you can use air visual pro to see invisible threats in your air and understand where they come from um, follow along on the app it's got uh, controls there are some buttons on the top uh, power button menu button and then little up down um, arrow toggles and uh, information in here about uh, what is PM 2.5, where does it come from, what is the air quality index, what do the icons mean. There's a variety of um, kind of colors from good to hazardous on the air quality index. And then information on CO2, uh, what is CO2 and um, CO2 icons, good to hazardous. Um, they got the, this is actually probably one of the more comprehensive explanations on um, CO2 levels that I've seen before. Like it, they, I think, you know, we don't talk about like what happens above a thousand if we're like a thousand is the control point, 400 is outside, whatever. Then, um, yeah, they have unhealthy at 1,500, very unhealthy at 2,500, and hazardous at 5,000. So that is interesting here. And then um, temperature and humidity and what can happen at those different ranges in terms of um, ideal, the ideal comfort is in the green, lung irritation, dust mites, whatnot. So this is actually a pretty cool little book. I might, um, I might scan this and put some of these graphics out there in the world. So, like I said, somebody else opened this up and set it up. Um, I can't add it now to my account. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the share code from them uh, to view it. Also, this is fun. I don't know. You're probably not supposed to hold it like this, but I'll never get that right. Uh, you can just hold it like here's the air quality monitor. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. And um, on the IQ Air website, they have some other really interesting products, which now I'm going to check out, of course. Um, they have a car air purifier and um, some, uh, I think there's a dashboard that goes along with this too um, for uh, online monitoring. So yeah, that's the Air Visual Pro. I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with it so far. I think I, this is probably something I would recommend to people um, if they're getting into uh, kind of personal air quality monitoring or home monitoring or when I get that, like which device should I get question. Uh, it's, you know, there's always different depending on what you want to do with it, but this is kind of a cool, um, consumer friendly little deal. So yeah.
looking at the application here, like I mentioned, this is something I was aware of from an outdoor monitoring standpoint. So you can set up to receive alerts if the air quality changes in any of your monitored locations here. You can add different locations to monitor from all over the world, which is really nice. And we'll go through and add a couple here in the United States as an example of how easy that can be. You can also look at the map view centered on your location and surroundings. So let's go ahead and add a couple locations. Here is Orlando, add it to your monitoring. We can add Denver next. There we go. It's just as easy as that. And maybe Kansas City. And one more, let's do Minneapolis. And you can see those all are also gonna show up on this list down here. And here is where you would theoretically add that device. So I know I mentioned uh, this has been opened before. Somebody else set it up and, and has it attached to their account, so I can't uh, add it to the app right now. But I'll see if I can get a share code and maybe uh, show what that looks like. In the meantime, uh, I'm pretty impressed with this little deal. It's a it's a cool little device. Uh, I think commercially, like I don't know, maybe. Uh, Maybe, maybe not, depending on what your needs are, but certainly something that could be cool to have at your house um, or on your desk, uh, kind of a one-off deal. It's very consumer friendly, I would say. And even if you um, don't have the monitor, you can use the app to uh, monitor outdoor air. And the company has um, some other interesting products like a uh, mobile air purifier, for like gas phase filtration for your car. So uh, that might be something to look into too.